Bo Galindo here with Lance Blanks, Texas, and Alabama State pregame. Leslie Parks, long time administrative assistant here for Texas, honored. She's retiring after 31 years. They needed some of that heart sparks early on because Alabama State, they were the team getting out to the lead. Yeah, they were the team. Alabama State started out early with a punch right in the mouth, but it was Leslie's experience that allowed Texas to stay calm under this arsenal of jump shots and buckets by Alabama State. But how about this? What yeah, about the finish at the rim? <laughs> Lol, that is yeah. reminiscent of some of the horns from years before. Dessou was extremely special early in the first half. So it's a 16 to 4 Alabama State lead. A big part of that was Gerald Liddell, the former Longhorn, but Dessou brings him back in that run with the dunk. It was a stretch where he had six of eight points for the Longhorns in a row. And then Marcus Carr really got going. Well, they started driving, and then they started looking for Carr, speaking of driving, and he got comfortable beyond the arc. And then, of course, we know Peppers. He's as smooth as silk. And he was knocking down buckets, but everything happened good for Texas around the basketball. Yeah, Dylan DeSue, man, he is going to be a game changer for this Texas program. Dylan DeSue, can't say enough about him. 14 points leading the way for the Longhorns. 68-48, Horns win. Happy holidays, everybody.